it's not looking like Israel's planning to finish its genocide in Gaza any time soon. Despite the fact that we had recent attempts from the United States administration to change some of the wording in the proposal that was pushed forward by Joe Biden and reportedly agreed upon by Benjamin Netanyahu, we still haven't seen any progress the american administration they're trying to come up with wording that hamas will agree upon because so far hamas is not being reassured that israel would completely stop its genocide in gaza after the initial phase of the ceasefire that reportedly both sides agreed upon with that we're hearing more comments and feedback from the israeli army about the campaign in Rafah. Firstly, some of the forces in Gaza are speaking with previous leaders in the IDF. Someone like Yitzhak Brik, an Israeli major general, who I quote many times, who speaks about the massive failures when it comes to Gaza. He recently said in an interview that he had many Israelis fighting in Gaza and Rafah in particular, saying we are lost, we are not seeing who we're fighting. We don't know where we're going and we're being defeated. And we had another confirmation today from the commander of Brigade 12 in the Israeli army who said that the campaign in Rafah is going very slow, that it's more difficult and complicated to defeat Hamas, that the campaign will take at least two years and that Hamas studied all of their fighting with Israel all across of Gaza and that's not making it easier for them in Rafah. Now, two years is one of the longest uh, estimates that we've heard recently. I know in the beginning of the war, people were talking about years to come, but uh, many people were estimating that Israel would get it over and done within a matter of months. Clearly, that's not the case. And with regards to Rafah, these statements are confirming what we're seeing on the ground from all parts of Gaza where the Palestinian resistance is proving that it's undefeatable. It cannot be defeated. They have very well-trained people fighting. They have a well-thought-out plan, especially their defense plan. Clearly, they lured the IDF into all of these traps in Gaza, and it doesn't look like the IDF will achieve any accomplishment. And many people in Israel who are worried about the state of Israel are calling on the Prime Minister alongside more than half of the Israeli population to reach a deal, any deal, to stop this. However, Benjamin Netanyahu is still pushing with this genocide because he simply hasn't protected his future yet and hasn't guaranteed his position after the war.